Atletico Madrid against Chelsea, uh, another standout tie. Atleti, the team that all of the top seeds wanted to avoid. Frank Lampard very much getting the short straw. However, the bookies have Chelsea as favourites. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with that. Remember, Atletico Madrid dumped Liverpool, who were the holders at the time, out of the competition last season. That They're a grizzled side. And, I mean, it's fascinating, isn't it? The Simeone, um, inflammable and, and hot-tempered against Frank Lampard, who, of course, is still earning his stripes as far as being a, a manager in the Champions League is concerned. But I don't really agree with the bookmakers. I'd make Atletico Madrid slightly the more streetwise outfit and possibly the favourites to go through. Streetwise is an interesting word to use, Don, because uh, Frank LeBeouf talking about Chelsea's defeat against Everton, saying that they need to learn how to win dirty. And if there's a team that epitomises that in Europe, it's Atleti. Yeah, they're the best. They really are, Dan. I commentated on their game against Salzburg last week in the Champions League. And Salzburg had chance after chance after chance. And you just know when you watch Simeone's men, they set up in a 4-4-2 I mean, all over the pitch, when you watch them, they've got real streetwise, hardened professionals, Koke and Saul in midfield, Trippier and Amoso in full-backs. You've got Stefan Savic and Felipe as centre-arse. You can take your pick between João Felix and Luis Suarez and Correa up front. So all over the pitch, they've got some really streetwise players. The one player I would I think is bang in form for them since he's come back from China is Yannick Carrasco. He is, he is in blind in form. But we did see a vulnerable side to Atleti. They were terrible against Real Madrid at the weekend. Of course, losing that unbeaten run domestically, Jules, which will give some solace to Chelsea going into those two legs. 100%. And, and Simone messed it up completely with his tactics at the start of the game. Had to change everything or try to change everything at halftime. But we saw them against Lokomotiv Moscow as well in the Champions League. The two games, home and away, where they really struggled to create. They really struggled to finish the chances or the half chances that they had. So defensively, I think they, you know, they are solid usually if, if Simone doesn't mess things up. And I mean by that, when Carrasco plays as a left wing back like he did against Real Madrid and he obviously doesn't make to defend, he doesn't know how to defend. And if you pin him down into that really left wing back position, I think they struggle and he struggles as well. And that's exactly what Real did with Modric and, and Lucas Vazquez. So there may be something in there for Lampard and Chelsea to exploit if that's still the, the formation that Simeone plays at the end of February. But yeah, I think, I, I think they're slight favourite, but I don't think it's a done and dusted deal at all for them because I think Chelsea have the players to hurt them. And again, we saw Luis Suarez, Joao Felix not really functioning against Real Madrid. They, 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 they could not create much. They had no shots on target at all in the first half. So they can be misfiring as well up front. So it'd be a very, very interesting game. Don, you tweeted after the draw was made, capital letters, that is strong. Is it really that strong as a draw? Overall, you kind of want all the big boys to go through and then we're going to have a brilliant quarter-final. No, I just, I just love it. No, I love the Champions I love League. It. I, and love I love it, I love the last mate. 16 and I love the big teams getting drawn together because it draws your eyes, which whoever you support, whichever game or, or, or team you think is going to be strong. It was just brilliant draws. I mean, the Chelsea, Atletico Madrid, the, the, the Leipzig, Liverpool one, uh, Barca, PSG, wherever you look, some fantastic games. Well, I feel like you've run out of steam slightly after those three well, matches, well, Dom. Well, well, give me the list. There's, some, there's still some fantastic teams left Porto, in. Porto, Juventus. Portman. There's still some very good teams. <laughs> you went too far there, Jules, didn't I? Even went Atalanta too far against Real Madrid. Madrid. It's quite an intriguing tie, bearing in mind how good Atalanta were last year. Yeah, in be the competition to and see the problems Real have had. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.